You see me in the shoot, in the wrist, ice blue And you trying to get it like me, I'ma tell you what to do How I ever play it, how I ever play it Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Bobby93 MacBoy. Another Final Cut Express tutorial today for you guys. Now, the what I'm going to be showing you guys how to do today, the effect I'm going to be showing you guys, is called the freeze frame effect. So, um, what that pretty much is, is you'll have a video going, and then say you want to stop it at one point so that they're, like, maybe frozen in time, and then you can put, like, a title or something if you're making a movie, whatever you want just to give that freeze frame effect and I'm going to be showing you guys with a video that I'm doing right now I'm also going to be showing you guys how to do the muzzle flash effect now I'm not sure if I'm going to do this all in one video depending on how much time I have but if I do do it in another video you guys will know so first I'm going to be showing you guys the freeze frame effect then the flash er, muzzle flash effect so here you go so what you're going to do is you're going to import your video that you took I just recorded it with uh, the camera in iMovie and then you click file uh, import from files <coughs> and then you find it and right here here's the clip I did I chose it and then I imported it which is right here then you're gonna choose what part of it you want now to do this say it's playing you click the I button to make an in point which is will give it the marker here and then the out button to give it the out point so that's how you select how much of the clip you want but as you guys see I've selected the amount of clip I want now the reason I'm using a uh, fake gun in this clip is just because I'm gonna also be doing the muzzle flash effect with this um, video the same video clip so I'm going to show you guys the freeze frame effect. Okay, so now what you're going to do is once you have the part of the clip you want selected, you're going to drag it into the canvas and just click insert. Now here is your clip right down here. It's not rendered, but I don't really want this audio in it because I don't really have a need for audio when I'm doing this. So I'm just going to, uh, sorry, I'm going to click the locked, lock the video section so that when I select this, it doesn't select the video. And just click delete. So there, now I only have the... Uh, the video part of it. So now I click sequence, render all. Um, it's rendering, it'll take about five seconds. <coughs> Sorry, I'm still sick, you guys. Now I unlocked it. Now here's the video I selected. And then there. Okay, so that's what I selected. Now I'm going to pause it where I want to make the freeze frame. So. So right here, I want to make a freeze frame. So to do this, you have to go over to the right and look for the little razor blade tool. It's called the blade tool. Or you can just click B. And then uh, make sure your playhead is where you want it. And then put the blade over where you want to cut it. And then click select. Now there, it did make a cut. Now go back to the mouse tool. And as you see, these are two, if you move this over, these are two different uh, clips. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to unselect this, put the playhead where I want the freeze frame, and now go up to um, modify, and then click make freeze frame. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, you guys. Now, as you guys see right here, it did make a freeze frame for me in the viewer. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click this, drag it right here. It's 10 seconds long. I don't want it this long, though, so I'm going to scale it down. I want to make it as long as this clip just to kind of give it that effect. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to scoot this over, drop this down, push this over a little bit, and then once I render this it should make a freeze frame so here I go there it's paused and goes back into action so there you guys have it that's how you do the freeze frame this might not have been the best video to show you guys that or how to do it but this is how you make the freeze frame effect in Final Cut Express and I'm sure it's very similar in Final Cut Pro Thank you guys for watching. If you like my videos, make sure you rate, comment, and subscribe. Look out for the muzzle flash video effect, which will make it so that when I, my gun is cocked, it'll show a bang, like a flame bang. So, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Bobby93MacBoy, peace.